Welcome to St. Jude and Fivish. As many of you know that after 15 years at Providence St. Jude, I've accepted a new position within the organization. Chief, Clinical Programs and Operations for the Southern California Region. So today is my last St. Jude and Fivish, and I'm passing the coffee mug to Laura Ramos, who has graciously agreed to serve as interim CE. In her 12 years at St. Jude, Laura has inspired and led in a remarkable ways and played a key role in every success. Congratulations, Laura, on your new role. So we're going to still uh, start with questions before we kind of switch. Okay. So I want to start with one of the most critical concerns for many people. Um, I understand the last guy who held the job was challenged in the area of fashion. Uh, do you have any plans to bring style back to the chief executive's office? Of course I do. I'm all about style. Now, I don't necessarily think that you didn't have style, though. Okay, thank you, because I thought you could have just said no, but <laughs> anything else you're going to bring back? No? All right, that's fine. It's probably safer to not answer that question. Okay, okay you started at St. Jude in 2008 uh, as the manager of the critical care and step-down units. Next, you became director of the newly formed cardio neuro service line as well as emergency services, and several years later, obviously, the CNO. Uh, looking back over the last 12 years, what were some of the successes that you're most proud of? Well, over the last 12 years, there's, there's so much that, that we've accomplished um, together as, as a St. Jude ministry that I'm very proud of. Uh, but I am proud of uh, our service lines, our programmatic development. I'm proud of our quality outcomes. I'm very proud of our uh, physician relationships and engagement as well as our caregivers. And, and just that relation and, and culture that, that we've been able to cultivate over the last 12 years. Um, our magnet designation was obviously, and redesignation was also a, a highlight, but um, really just proud of all the great work that we've been able to accomplish together at St. Jude. It's hard to summarize it in one, you know, it's been a while. Thinking about the rest of 2021, what are the hospital's biggest challenges? And what are the issues that you anticipate spending lots of time worrying about? Well, clearly we are just uh, coming through a, a pandemic with, with COVID that was uh, something that I think none of us could have ever uh, imagined. But uh, in the true St. Jude way, our, our caregivers and our physicians and, and teams really you know, came together and, and just did an, an amazing, an amazing job. Coming through there, obviously, there's, there's recovery, you know, post-COVID that we're all working together on. And then there's EPIC. So we are transitioning into our, our new EHR, and I know there'll be a lot of workflow uh, opportunities and just a, a new way of, of documenting what we do. But uh, I think that's going to be a lot of focus for us initially. My last day is May 17th. On May 18th, what's the first thing you're going to do? Well, I'm going to move offices, and I'm really excited about that office of yours. <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness. I was going to say use the bathroom. <laughs> yes, it's so convenient. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, uh, obviously there's, there's so much to, to be thinking about and, and to be bringing our, our very talented team together and making sure that we continue the great um, strides that we have over the last number of years. What's something you want to get done the first week? The first week, I really want to successfully get through Epic. All right, that's good. You know I timed my last day because of that. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. What areas of clinical growth or development do you see over the next year? I see tremendous uh, growth in our digestive um, institute and service line. Uh, there's so much uh, exciting work that is uh, happening in the cancer arena. Uh, I also see neurosciences continuing to, to grow and gain strong momentum. We have so many strong service lines, orthopedics um, and spine are also doing amazing work. So I really see those as being areas where we will continue to grow, along with our structural heart cardiovascular program. Is there any achievement or award that's eluded us that you want to 
target or achieve? You know, um, as you know, we've been um, we've been quite successful with recognitions and ensuring that our quality outcomes continue to improve. Um, I really have to think about if there is, is an area that is, has eluded us. I will say that in, in true St. Jude fashion, while we're very proud of the work that we have accomplished, we we don't ever feel that, that we have arrived or that there isn't more to accomplish. So I am sure that St. Jude will continue to raise the bar. So thank you, Laura. Providence St. Jude is in great hands. Uh, now normally this is where we transition to bonding with Brian. Mm -hmm. um, or you know, a segment called Getting to Know You. But, but Laura's going to ask me the questions. Um, but I think we should switch spots for this. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. This is going to be kind of fun, Brian. I, I think I could get used to this. If you could completely get rid of any month, what month would you get rid of? January. Oh, that was pretty quick. I'd kind of like to hear more about that. I don't like starting. It's the new year. Okay. Starting, there's... It's still cold. There's nothing really... Uh, January. Okay. I'm with you. I don't need to explain myself. No, you don't. You don't. It, you just had to answer. What is your favorite dance move? Well, you're making everybody laugh right now because I can't dance. So, um, I can do the sprinkler. Do you want to show us? No. <laughs> okay. I just thought I'd try it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Okay. You're going to Next question. One. What is the board game that you are the most amazing at? Board game. I do like to play games. I've played a lot more uh, card games and stuff, but a good board game. I do like Royal Rummy. Rummy Royal goes by both ways. I'll call that a board game. All right. Last one before I transition here a little bit. What are your three favorite drinks? Wine. Chai tea latte. Um... I usually drink Propel like flavored water or I'm trying to, or I used to drink a lot of Diet Dr. Pepper, but I'm trying to cut that out. So I'll go with Propel. Okay. I got those. I got all three of them. So just you switching. You were going to say all three of those? I was. Oh, okay. I, I've worked pretty closely with you for the last 13 years. I observed these things. I didn't even say a drink drink. I know. All right. That's good. <laughs> so what are you going to miss most about Providence St. Jude, Brian? Uh, obviously, the people, you know, I think all of us, the, the whole organization, you know, our, our collective team for everybody at St. Jude, our caregivers, our physicians, uh, and then, you know, just keep uh, going to those groups of people. Our leadership team, our managers and directors are a phenomenal group. Uh, obviously, our executive team is super close, but so the people. What are some moments that you're never going to forget about St. Jude? Why? This is only supposed to be like three or four questions. I only have one more. Um, I would say our accomplishments as a whole. Yeah, I think it's um, something that for us was very uh, intentional about how we wanted to do it. We knew we needed to raise the bar, and a lot of you guys have heard me say, you know, we're a major medical center in the sixth largest county in this country, and we need to act like it. So it was very uh, intentional, and that's not anything about the past. St. Jude has always been phenomenal and a great place to work, but um, I wanted to compete nationally and I thought, I thought that we could. Um, so just those collective, those collective accomplishments and the fact that we, we did it very intentionally with structure and caregiver engagement and physician engagement. Uh, I love our, I love our um, caregiver committees and the fact that shared governance, also those, all of those pieces that we as leaders refer to as choice and voice. No, thank you for that, Brian. And um, I have been honored to work alongside of you for the last 13 years. And I appreciate all that you've done to coach and, and to mentor uh, me and our entire team. And while I'll miss not seeing you every day, I am also looking forward to the opportunity um, with you being at the region, being able to continue to be that intentional person that you are with, with process and structures and, and people and allowing um, the entire region yeah. and St. Jude to, to be all that it can be. Well, St. Jude's definitely uh, taught me a lot and we've done a lot together and hopefully I can do my best to, to 
take that to a, a regional role and, and, and just keep, keep uh, that momentum going. But thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, this is my uh, last goodbye for St. Jude and Five, and absolutely a, a pleasure and, and so proud uh, and humbled by everything that we've accomplished. But stay strong, St. Jude. Do it like we do it like we do it.